at his age is still a top guy. I'm not well, what trying if, to take What him. if I had a surprise for you since you're so hard on TNA? Okay. What if I have a surprise for you? If I've got someone who actually works for TNA on the phone. Oh, jeez. I, I, I have a feeling I know who this guy <laughs> is. Uh, a guy that I know very well has been on this show yes, he has. plenty of times. Let, let's, the, uh, let the backpedaling begin. Let's let's welcome him on here. A good friend of ours, a good friend of uh, you know the full Nelson, and uh, works for TNA and will be at the NRW show. Mr. Yaden Matthews. Yaden, welcome to the show, buddy. How's it going? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, are you gonna are you gonna give me a tongue lashing for for you know putting down uh, the TNA product or are, what's what's the deal? For having an opinion, absolutely not. Everybody's got one. Right. Uh, yeah. And I'm so I'm just like a uh, <laughs> a certain anatomy part. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 I didn't say it, you said it. So. I, I, I I know, uh, but it was uh, heading there. So I, I'm I'm an outsider. I'm just watching. Watching it on television, seeing the the product, and I don't, I do not have a problem with with the TNA talent. In fact, I've like I've said many of times on this show, I think TNA has perhaps better talent than even WWE. What I have a problem with is that there's still guys that I think are uh, controlling things that uh, maybe there should be kind of push to the side a little bit and let some of the younger guys uh, take over and also bad story writing. I still think there's horrible story writing in TNA. Well, I mean, everybody views the, the top two products, WWE, TNA, everybody again got their opinion, what they, they think they know why things are being done a certain way, why stories are being written a certain way, why certain guys are still in certain spots. And, and at the end of the day, like I can say I'm completely satisfied with, where we're going in, in our company and, and, and what's going on with, with the changes we've made, the, the generation of buzz that, and excitement that have been, that has been generated just in the last couple of months. I heard you guys talk about lockdown, you know, what a success that was, how, how amazing the response from the crowd there was. I mean, to be in that arena while that was going on, it's something that you can't really describe. And, and, and the excitement is, is, is unmatched, I think, in the company's history. So, you know, while there's going to be things that are done uh, from from a creative standpoint, or even from the talent that's being used, there's no denying that that the the movement is upward. The talent that is there now, like you said, is is the best in the world, honestly, and in, in, in my opinion, and and we're going to use that to the best of of our ability. And, and I think that the uh, the powers that be are doing a great job in doing that. So, you know, I, I've, I'm blessed to see it every day. To, to see the workings of it and, and to be a part of, of those events and kind of see how they shape. So, um, you know, my opinion is I, I, I don't love everything that is ever going on anywhere. I mean, there's, there's always things that can be done different, but, it, but that's, again, a matter of opinion. But all in all, I am completely satisfied with the direction that they've taken everything. Like you said, with Bully Ray, Devon, you know, the stuff that's going on in the, 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 the buzz is, is unbelievable. So... And, no, Yaden, I wanted to ask you a question. You mentioned you were excited about a lot of the changes coming up. One we were just speaking about was uh, the changes to the X division, um, uh-huh. a division that, you know, I've seen you, know, you wrestle personally and, you know, an amazing athlete, so, a division I think you would be, you know, fit perfectly for. Uh, how is the uh, feeling in the locker room regarding those changes? No, guys are excited. It's, it's, you know, company, again, company-wide, it's, it's exciting. The X division is something that made TNA what TNA was for a long time, and they're spicing it up again. Uh, in, as far as I go, I mean, the way the new rules are, I'd be too big to wrestle in the X Division anyway because the weight limit is now 230 pounds. So. You're over 230, um, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, t- I'm 15 pounds too heavy. So it's, uh, it's, it's something that, that I think is a good, it's a good shot in the arm. It's, it's amazing athletes that, that, are, that can now – do their thing the way it should be done, and everybody's excited about it. I don't know if you guys saw the you guys probably saw the expo, the explanation of what what they're doing and the kind of the new rules, and it's something that's never been done before right. in, in wrestling. No, so no, we are a little easy. confused on the rules. So, in okay. the X Division three way match, if you are pinned, you are not mm-hmm. eligible for another X Division championship match until when? You know, I'm not sure as far as what the as far as you being eliminated from contention and the time frame is. That's something I'd have to look into. I know 
that you are eliminated for a specific or for a period of time. But as far as what the specific time frame is, that's something I'd have to. to well, go for well here's now. what I here's what I've I've sort of drawn from what I've seen online is that if you uh, have gotten pinned, then you are, you are not eligible for the next title match, but you are of eligible for the number one contenders match that they're going to have on that same preview so you're also you're eligible to be in the number one contenders match so there's basically going to be two triple threat matches every paper so so is it fair to assume that there will be an influx of new talent into the tna pool to kind of uh, fill the supply of needed x division contenders uh, you know what? I don't know from experience or anything that I've heard, but I would have, I would think so. I mean, I, you're going to have to be able to stock up that that talent with with, with X division style guys. So you never know. I guess who's going to pop up, and and that's that's something I myself, you know, I'm waiting to see and I'm excited about because there's a lot of talent out there that fits that mold. That I think, again, it's something that's really going to set TNA apart from everybody else. And, and, and make us, you know, that much different, that much more exciting, and and yeah, I, I wouldn't be shocked if you start seeing some some talent maybe you've seen before, some talent you've never seen. It's it's pretty exciting times. And if you could pick one some one person from Denver to go into the X Division, who do you think that would be? In your from opinion, Denver? Yeah. Oh man, God, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> who who fits the mold? You know, who's under two hundred and thirty pounds? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, everybody. So um, I don't. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Is everybody over 230 pounds in Denver? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's a pool of people. Put them, you know, I guess. Honestly, uh, he's not with us anymore. I think Paul Diamond would have been somebody that would have always fit the X Division mold. Um, he's not wrestling anymore, but someone like someone like Diamond would have fit well. Um, as far as, you know, a we go, Tyler Centron would be somebody that I think could fit in there. He's obviously within the weight limit, very talented. And if Superstar gets well again and he would have the opportunity. I think Superstar is somebody that would fit in well with, with what they're doing. So there's there's quite a few guys out there that uh, that could, but as far as picking one specifically, I, I don't really know if I could do that. And that's just that's a credit to the to the amount of talent that's in the state that um, you know, that has the capabilities of maybe making it to that next level. So I, I can't answer the question, I guess, I'm dodging it. Well, we, we want to thank uh, Yaden Matthews for uh, giving us his time and uh, kind of setting me straight. As You you always bring somebody on every <laughs> oh, week. That wasn't me. me. That was, that was set, Kelly. Okay, Kelly this week. Last week you brought in uh, Swan Christopher to set me straight about NRW. So now, Wait a minute. You guys had Swan call in to set you straight about something? How'd that work out? Uh, <laughs> I was still just as confused as I was the, before. At least now I'm, I'm, I'm okay. a little more uh, settled on TNA now. So. Okay, well, good. There's a lot happening, man. And again, you're not going to like everything that, that's done it, 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 with any organization, whether it's WWE, TNA, NRW, uh, whatever. But you just know that, that the best product possible is always being put out there to the best of everybody's ability. And that's and why I watch. Of, that's why I watch but, each and every week, though. And then keep, you know, and hopefully you can come out to the NRW shows, and, you know, we're going to really try to kickstart this thing again and get it rolling on april 6th and i'm excited to come back and be a part of it and we realized what we had when it was gone and now that we've got it back we're going to give give denver something that they've never had i think we were doing that before anyway but it's going to be you know an overdrive now so i hope you guys come and support it and, and you know appreciate being on as always guys love you guys well uh we uh we love having yaden matthews representing colorado in tna and it's a great uh great time to be a, a wrestling fan so we don't want to thank yaden for being on the show we got to go to commercial break, but when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about these uh, X Division rules, guys, and uh, we'll, we'll try to make sense of it all. This is the Full Nelson here on GoMileHigh.com. Mm-hmm. 